Welcome to Halo Hair Studio. How can I help you? What? Is that really you? <laughs> no way. Oh my gosh. No. I don't believe it. I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen you with hair this long. That's so crazy. No, no, I think it looks really good. I'm just, I'm just not used to it. Um, I mean, I think I saw you, um, oh gosh, I don't even know, four months ago? Yeah. Um, have you been growing it out that entire time? Wow, okay. Um, yeah. Um, so what were you thinking about doing today? Okay, the haircut and the hot shave. That sounds good. Um, were you just wanting to do a trim then and keep it about the same length? Okay. Yeah, I think we can make that work. Um, what about a shampoo? No? Okay, that's fine. Um, I've got my water bottle right here. You can just, um, get your hair damp and we can get started. I'm just going to run a comb through that. So what have people been um, saying about your hair? Have you gotten lots of compliments? Good. No, I think, I really do think it suits you. It's just, I am, I'm so used to seeing you with your hair short. I didn't know what to think. I didn't even recognize you. <laughs> I'm just gonna get your get your hair tucked behind your ear. Yeah. What does your mother think? <laughs> yeah, oh, that doesn't surprise me. Tell her that, um, tell her that she should give me a call sometime. I don't think I've, um, I don't think I've seen her in a while either. Yeah, I know. That's what, um, that's what everybody tells me. Everyone is, um, busy, busy, busy. just want to make sure I'm getting all of the tangles out before I start cutting. Well, you've been taking really good care of your hair. No, I mean, <laughs> no, it's a compliment. Don't take it that way. the point in having long hair if it's just, uh, if it's all dry and damaged and all of that. Nobody likes that. I just want to get a really good part here.
looks good. So I'm going to get my scissors and get started. And like I said, you really, um, you really don't have too many split ends. Where have you been, um, where have you been buying your products? Okay. No, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. That's where, um, that's where all the good stuff is, in my opinion, anyway. I just wanna, just wanna keep, um, keep your duck behind your ears. So, do you have any, um, do you have any plans for this weekend? Really? Um, I hope you don't mind me asking, is it the same person? <laughs> okay. Oh, good. How did you guys meet? Mm-hmm. Oh, so it's a, it's a new thing. That, um... I thought last time you were seeing somebody else. Okay. I'm really sorry to hear that. No, I know. Sometimes, um, sometimes things just don't work out. But, um, but you're really excited about this new person? Yeah. Oh, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. I know things have been uh, kind of hard for you lately. Yeah, I know. It just seems like sometimes it seems like it's just one thing after another, you know? What about, um, what about work? Is that going well too? Yeah? Well, that's awesome. No, don't say that. I don't think that's true. I think you should, um, I think you should relax and just let yourself enjoy the way things are going. If anybody, if anybody deserves a break, it's you. And I've known you for a long time. 
say that. I'm just gonna step around and get the back. Coming in real close to your ears here. around to the front. I just want to make sure. Yeah. Then I got that even. Places. They're still. Yeah, there we go. Still a bit uneven. Don't worry, the last thing I'm going to do is send you out on a date with an uneven haircut. I would never do that. No, especially if this is somebody you like. Somebody you're really interested in. I want you to be able to put your best foot forward.
looking really good. Just gonna step around again, back behind you. scared off by my brush. I am uh, using it because I like the finish that it gives your hair. It's something that you can't get with a comb. I'm just gonna get the front here. I think we've, uh, I think we've tamed it a little bit. Looks good. Let me get the... Watch your hair again. how we want it. Not 
How you'll be wearing your hair just like this. Okay, good. Yeah, I think that's gonna look it's gonna look really nice. Okay, I'm just gonna finish that off with a little bit. And I'm just doing this because I want to um, give your give your hair a little bit of texture. We just kind of just kind of twist the ends, and that's gonna gonna give it a PC kind of look that we're going for. All right. finished here. So I'm going to move you to my reclining chair next so I can start your shave. And uh, this is the first time you've had a shave um, with the safety razor, correct? Okay, well, don't worry. I'm very experienced at um, giving shaves, so you will be in good hands. And I will explain everything to you as I'm doing it. So I'll see you over there. Just follow me. Okay, so we are ready for your shave now. And you told me previously that you've never had a shave with a safety razor before, correct? Okay, so I'm just going to grab my razor and explain to you what we're going to be doing. So this is a 1959 Gillette Fat Boy Adjustable Safety Razor. And the first thing I'm going to need to do is get a look at your whiskers here. Very good. And the other side. Okay. So they're a little bit longer, um, but not too long. So I think I'm going to set my razor to six. Let me open a new package of razor blades here and get you a brand new razor blade. Okay, so here's your new blade. I'm 
just going to slide this open just like that and close it the same way. So, I think I, um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but this is a three pass shave. And basically what that means is we're not going to attempt to get all of the hair on the first pass. That's what you would try to do with a modern razor, but this is going to be a little bit different. It's going to take a little bit longer than you're used to, but in the end, it's going to give you a much closer shave and it's going to be much better for your skin. There's going to be less irritation and you're just going to feel wonderful. Um, but first, I'm going to get hot rag for you. And I'm going to get the water nice and warm. I don't want it to be too wet. I do want to get your skin nice and soaked. So if you'll just hold that against me or against your face. Yeah. Yeah, just, so just hold that against your face and let that sit for a while. And that's going to open the pores and soften your whiskers. So what I've got here is a badger hair brush and a shaving mug and I'm just going to apply um, a little bit of soap in here and build up your lather. And let me get you, um, let me get you a little bit, a little bit more water. Make sure that's nice and hot for you. your, here's your rack again. There you go. Alright. So I've got a little bit of shaving soap. I'm going to put that in my mug and wet my brush again with some hot water. Okay. And I'm just gonna work the brush to the lather into the soap. I'm going to create a lot of lather. It might, might take a while. Um, we basically want to build a nice thick foam. Um, if, if it's too thin, it's um, not going to give you a good shape, so... Okay, so I'm ready to lather your face. side as well. Okay. I'm gonna fill my fill my 
doing is I'm getting your getting the safety razor warmed up for you uh, we don't want cold skin or cold steel on your skin it's gonna it can snag and pull and that is not what we want all right so I'm coming back with the razor and we're going to start your first pass Now the first pass that we're taking is going to go straight down and I'm going to have to rinse the, rinse the razor out. Even though it is double-sided, um, you know, it can get gunked up pretty fast. So to make sure to keep the blade nice and clean. Okay. Okay. I'm going to clean out my razor again. Just gonna take some nice short strokes and let the weight of the razor do all of the work for me. Um, it out again. Okay, so I'm actually ready to the shaving cream from your face because um, we are finished with the first pass. And again, we just have to just have to prep the face. So, giving you that hot rag back. Okay, so this is this is the second pass and we're going at a 45 degree angle across the grain of the hair and that basically means that what I'm doing is going from your ear to your chin. Okay, I'm going to clean my razor again. And look 
gonna get your neck now. And we're going straight up toward the chin. Very good. Okay, and it is time for the third and final pass. Get over here. And like I said, for the second pass, we um, went 45 degrees. Um, across the grain from the ear to the chin. And basically the third pass, we're just going to go in the opposite direction. Just like this. seems a little monotonous, but I promise you, you will get a better shave this way. And hopefully it is a little relaxing for you too. to get you cleaned up and then after I do that I'm just gonna do a final check make sure that we didn't miss any patches of hair or anything like that so lean towards me very good good yeah I Actually, I don't feel any, any extra hair, so it looks wonderful. So that looks really good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you a rag with some cold water. Like I said 
earlier, I gave you the hot rag to open your pores. And right now we just want to make sure that we get those pores closed up. And the cold water will do that. I just need to dry you off. And the other side too. Very good. And all that I have left to do now is um, apply this lotion. your haircut and your shave and I hope you will be back to see me very soon.